in. So one of the things that I have really been studying a lot this year is some of the ways that things change for us as we age. And of course, we still want to keep running. We like to pretend that nothing is different. And yet, of course, there are all kinds of things happening, right? A few that we 100% know happen is that when you start getting over age 30, <clears throat> like me, um, we know that we start losing muscle mass, we know that our bone density decreases, and we know that we start having a decline in mitochondria. Okay, the last one is probably the piece that you rarely, if ever, have heard about. Maybe you remember mitochondria from science class, but we're going to talk about it today because it's this thing that we can actually have some control over and makes a big difference. So what the heck is your mitochondria? So your mitochondria in a simple sentence, they're your running powerhouse. It is your source of energy. I'm, you may see me look to the side occasionally, and it's always because I want to make sure I am never missing any of the points that are really helpful and useful to you. So your mitochondria takes glucose from your bloodstream and turns it into energy. It is the most efficient way for your body to create energy. So more mitochondria, you can more efficiently create energy which means you can run with less fatigue. Aha. So not only is it efficient, but your mitochondria exist in both your slow and your fast twitch muscle fibers. So when I'm giving you some tips, you will see why that is important. But we aren't just talking about this being in your muscles. Mitochondria literally is your powerhouse for everything. It makes, it's in your liver, it's in your lungs, it's in your heart, it's in your brain. So all of these places that need energy from your body, looking to mitochondria. And have you ever noticed that once you say a word many times, it starts to sound funny? Starting to do that. Okay, so here's the thing. As we get older, that number naturally starts to decline, and if we don't do anything about it, then, um, yeah, our performance suffers. We start having all of those fatigue issues. More mitochondria means that they can work more efficiently and they can spread out the workload. So, what can we do? I have six tips for you. How surprising. So the first one is that once a week, we want to add in some kind of sprint intervals or plyometrics. Now, as we get older, I have noticed that we become even more averse to plyometrics. We think that they are too intense for us. But like I said, I've been taking a number of courses. Not only is it helping with our mitochondria, but it's helping with bone density. And for all of you who keep saying things to me like, as my hormones shift, I just can't lose the weight, that plyometrics is actually super helpful. Or that day of doing really hard sprint intervals. Now, the second piece is the long, slow, steady state run. So as most of you know, I adore my long, easy runs. And so this is where that fast and slow twitch is coming into play and where we are still sticking to that motto of 80-20. So 80% 80 of your week easy, 20% hard. But a lot of times I've noticed as we are getting older, we start kind of taking out that 20% or 80% is hard. So the 20% hard is still extremely important. Got it? Okay. Three, staying hydrated and electrolytes. So you know we are constantly preaching hydration. This is another time where it becomes really important. Electrolytes, always super important, especially as folks who sweat as much as we do. Four, stop restricting your carbohydrates. So one of the best statements I ever heard, Dina Castor said it to me on a run, which was fat burns in a carbohydrate flame. So we have said that glucose is what mitochondria uses most efficiently to create energy for you. And so we need carbohydrates. So if you are taking them all out of your diet, you are making it much harder 
for your body to easily create the energy that you want to drive you forward on your runs. Okay, number five is getting outside and getting enough sunlight or especially on the computer, wearing those blue block lenses. So a little bit less of the blue light, a lot more of the sunlight. Okay, five easy things so far, right? Now, number six is actually MitoQ. And this is an advanced supplement that really just helps your body to better absorb your training and keep your mitochondria powered up. You know that I am crazy picky about supplements. And this one, I am super impressed with it. It has nine clinical trials and 400 peer reviewed independent studies. So what that says to me is this is a brand that is willing to put their product out there for anyone to test because they truly believe in the quality, they believe in what it is going to do, and they believe in the results that people are going to see from it. It is very rare that I have seen things with 400 peer reviewed independent studies. That's pretty incredible. So this is kind of that additional bonus, and especially like I said, as we're getting older, an easy way to just help ramp things up. So what have some of those studies shown? Increased VO2 max. So everybody who is always looking at their garments and seeing whether it's showing they're productive or not productive and their VO2 max, it is truly showing that with more mitochondria, they are improving that VO2 max, which means they are able to run faster. So pretty awesome. It's shortening recovery periods. So a shorter recovery period means that you are able to train more consistently. It means that you are able to put in that hard work because you are fully recovered from the last hard session. Better heart rate variability. So I talk a lot about low heart rate training. And so heart rate variability is that idea that when you do the hard pieces, you do that sprint or you do that interval, how quickly does your heart rate come back down? So that improves, which is excellent. It means you're recovering better, right? Um, it reduces oxidative stress. So I guess with mitochondria because it gets real, real sciency, but the less mitochondria you have, basically the more free radicals you end up with in your body. So cool. And they have just had some new studies showing that it's actually really helping with our immune system. So I don't know about you, but I feel like I've been thinking a whole lot about my immune system this year, right? <laughs> 